Well, we're called to, the, to pray for others. You know, we are intercessors. I mean, just like Jesus is the great intercessor, we are also intercessors. And we are to pray for one another. I mean, could you imagine a body that is only taking care of its one part, but it's not taking care of the whole body? It can't function. So we have a necessary mandate from the Lord to pray for one another, to pray for one another. Because when we pray for one another, we see results not only in their lives, but our lives. Because whatever you sow, you'll also reap. You know, the Bible says pray without ceasing. You know, even prayers of supplication. You know, where even moans and groans that you can't even, you can't even understand it. You know, they go to the depth of your soul by the Holy Spirit. These things are necessary so that things can be birthed in this earth. You see, God gave us a voice for this earth. We are the voice that brings what needs to come to pass on this earth. So our mouth is needed, it is necessary. He said, if my people will humble themselves, yes. you know, and seek my faith. That's right. He said, I will heal the land. Yes, you can't be isolated by yourself. Mm -hmm. And we need one another. We need one another. That's why God said, you should not forsake the assemblies of the believers. And, and God says in the book of James here, 566, 6, 16, he said this, confess your faults one to another and pray for one for another for one pray one for another that you may be healed so it's a god command that we have to pray for one one pray one for another that you may be healed so mm -hmm. you may be healed god has done things already it is finished mm -hmm. but there are things that he gives unto our power that we have see if you are hungry and uh, there is a food truck outside your neighborhood. They say everybody who hungry, starving, come outside. There is a food truck. Oh, Amazon or eBay, whatever it is, uh, a grocery store has delivered food for you at your mm -hmm. doorstep. Mm -hmm. So you got to come out, out of that couch. Mm -hmm. You got to go out and open the door and get a grocery and bring inside. Mm -hmm. So it's already been there. God say pray for. Uh, one another that you may be healed. So Pastor Anna, mm -hmm. right now I'm standing have a lot of prayer requests that uh, I, I've been praying for people. Real people with real prayer requests that we pray. Mm -hmm. uh, like this prayer request, uh, there's no name so like somebody say uh, he say that uh, I pray that me and my girlfriend have an amazing future and a long life and, and uh ahead of us dear lord i just want to thank you for all the blessing blessing and giving me so many chances to start over i love you so much i give you all the glory hallelujah mm -hmm. please i pray for each and every single person who took time to come out here and write prayers so these are real people mm -hmm. pastor Emma, you've been in a big ministry we thought mention nobody names mm -hmm. right Tell me about experience about a prayer, real prayer request, and why we have to pray for people, really touching one by one, not just laying them down in, in a pile up and pray. Tell me about why we have to pray uh, each one and your experience from coming our big ministry concerning this prayer line, prayer request. Well, I came out of a mega ministry and um I learned so much through that ministry being an administrative assistant in the ministry and what happened was I used to do all the membership information and put in how much tithes and offerings they put in and on those papers was also people's prayer requests and so I was also inputting the prayer requests and praying over every prayer request and all in a sudden while I'm there doing all the work and everything, somebody came in from the administrative team and they said, what are you doing? And I said, I'm putting in also the prayer request. 
They said, no, we don't need that. All we need is the information for tithes and offerings. Hold on. They say, we don't need all prayer requests. All these mails coming, we don't need. All they need is what? Tides and offering information. All they need is tie and offering. Address of the people. That is a sin against God. So they, they need address your email, your address. Your They're account information. Fishing your information. But they, they're actually dumping out your prayer. But God called us to pray. Yes. Every mail that I send to us, Fire Revival, P.O. Box 193, Mount Juliet, Tennessee. Zip code is 37121. We'll actually pray for you. Yes. individual prayer as we pray for this one individual this prayer request will do so pastor Anna, let's mm -hmm. go back you mm -hmm. say this mega ministry they say we don't need the prayer request right we all need is information about tithe the, the, the members just the information of the members tithes and offering how much they put in that week you know um, how much they put so it's become a business it's not a ministry where a man of God will go on a mountain will go in a prayer room in a prayer chamber and have a prayer team to pray for people right that's true it wasn't to share this tell people about the prayer marathon how God gave us a vision because we want about the prayer marathon that are we going about to start well the Lord says pray without ceasing he said, my house will be a house of prayer, right? He didn't say my house will be a house of worship. My house will be a house of, of oh, praise. God said my house will be my, a house of what? Prayer. Will be a house of prayer. And we're his house. And we have to teach our kids even how to pray. And so it's very important. And why the Lord said prayer marathon was because it's just going to continue. It's a continue. It's a continuation. Without ceasing. Without ceasing. It's a marathon. It's a marathon. It's a prayer marathon. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start every single day, uh, Central Time, 6 in the morning yes. to 7. CDT, Central Day Light Time. In the Eastern Time, it's going to be between 7 and 8. So, uh, and it will be available in different platforms. Uh, we are now different social media, Telegram, uh, YouTube, Facebook, and uh, we just got ourselves in Dogera and also will continue to grow. So what's going to happen is you can send the message when we are live. You can mail us our prior revival ministry, P.O. Box 193, Mount Juliet, Tennessee. Zip code 37121. Send us your prayer request and we'll pray for you. We'll take your time and sit on the prayer that you ask God for and we'll pray for you. Uh, let me tell something as I'm saying now, the power of prayer. God has given us power already because now we are living in the kingdom of God. There are a lot of people who have their own agenda and also they may expose the other people's agenda, but also they have agenda. Mm -hmm. So let me tell you something, which one is agenda? God only agenda, kingdom mm -hmm. agenda. Mm -hmm. And what is the kingdom agenda? Kingdom agenda is pray for you. Let me tell you something. Uh, James 5, 17, he said this, Elijah was a man subject to like passion as we are. And he prayed earnestly that I, it might not rain and it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. Let me tell you something. I like this real story. It mm -hmm. said Elijah, right? Mm -hmm. He was a man mm -hmm. like us. Right. He was not like a, a super uh, angel <laughs> right. or like alien. Right. He was a man. Right. Flesh and blood. He was a flesh and blood. Mm -hmm. If we today he will wear khakis and maybe probably skinny jeans. <laughs> he was put a sneakers or, or get car real t shirt. Or cowboy hat. Or cowboy boot. <laughs> or probably he'll have a baseball. But he was yeah. a man. Yeah. He said just like us. Yes. So he was a man. Yes. But guess what? He mm -hmm. prayed earnestly. You know, Earnest this is why we say wow. prayer marathon without mm -hmm. season. Mm -hmm. That it was not the word of the Lord. It was mm -hmm. him. He's saying this city, in this land, it shall not rain, it shall not rain for three years. You understand that? Mm -hmm. It shall not rain for what? Three, three years. years. He was a man just like us. Mm -hmm. There's a power mm -hmm. in us. 
that God has already given to us. See people talking revival, let's start a revival, let's start a revival. Let me tell you something about revival. Revival is not something new. God has already, there is a power of God already available. Mm -hmm. You see, right now in, in this era, mm -hmm. there's all a lot of broadcasts going on. Radio broadcasts, mm -hmm. uh, military broadcasts, there's a military waves in the air. There's a television waves going on, mm -hmm. but you don't see it. Right. You just see air, but if we come here in the woodwork with a television set and you have an antenna Maybe a satellite dish when we hook it up. We'll be able to see channels Right. right. So uh, what, what, I'm, what, I'm, what am I going? I'm, this, is, this is where I'm going. Watch this God power is already presence uh -huh. So revival is not that for, for, for seeking a new thing. Mm -hmm. It's us to connect Amen. in the power Amen. If you just got a TV in Walmart or in any marketplace, mm -hmm. if you put a home sitting when you're not plugging the power mm -hmm. or you have a, a subscription or on a dish network or whatever subscriber mm -hmm. is, you're not going to get anything. Right. So right. revival is already here. So what we need, we need to plug in. Amen. So God has already given us power. So Elijah was a man. Mm -hmm. Just like me and you yes. who pray and they say there's not going to be rain. And surely in three years there was no rain. no rain. There's a power in the prayers. There is a power in the prayers. So brothers and sisters, where you are watching right now, back to Pastor Anna. Mm -hmm. The power of prayers. You see the power of prayer by speaking what the word of God says. You see, we don't speak out of our own flesh, but we speak the word. And the word can't return void. But we, a lot of people are void of speech of the word. And that's why they're not seeing results. We're telling you, we're going to be praying for you, not out of our own consciousness, not out of our own heart, but out of the heart of God. So the word is something that we say that is the word of God, not our own words. We have to use the word of God because that word will not return void. And it will accomplish what it was sent to do. So we, we are saying here that we are going to pray without ceasing for you. Yes. Because we love you. Yes. How could we pray for people and we don't love them? That's right. So no because of the love, love with people, yes. it's going to draw us to the mercy seat of God. Yes. To pray for your situation. That's right. Because we know if we pray for your situation, that your results from your situation, you're going to we do all things for the glory of God. Yes. And what we want to do for you is pray for you. Amen. It is very important that you know that there's no other motive for doing this but to pray for you. Because when God answers prayers, he gets glory. Amen? And we want to give Him glory. That's what we're called to do. We were created to praise Him and to give Him glory. We don't serve a dead God. We serve the true and living God. No, He answers. And He answers. And He answers by fire. And right now, fire is going into those screens right now, into the online system right now. Everybody watching. The fire of God is coming and consuming your situation. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ, that's powerful. What I want to tell you, I'm going to end up by praying for you, and I want to tell you this. First Samuel 3, 19. God said this, And Samuel grew, and the Lord was with him, and did not let none of his words fall to the ground. Hmm. Samuel grew, and the Lord was with him, and God did not let any prophet say one word fall on the ground. Any words like Elijah was a man in a likeness like us, just us, just like us. He prayed earnestly that there should be no rain and there was no rain. And when you back up Samuel, God did not let any same word, same word for a God. What it all means? There is a power. God honors his man and woman of God. Amen. God has orders. When God puts you and a man of God for a prayer, 
God so many times called a man of God, a man of God, a man of God. Mm -hmm. He answered what they say. Yes, true. And I'm going to finish up by saying Isaiah 41.10 for you. It's a powerful scripture, so, and then I'll, I'll, I'll pray for you. Isaiah 41.10 say this. Fear not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yeah, I will help you. Yeah, I will, I will hold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. What God, what God, what that means? God is saying, fear not, for I'm your God. I will strengthen thee. God is going to strengthen you. God is going to strengthen you uh, in, a, in a physical and a spiritual realm that you're living. Because he understands. He said in Matthew 3, 33, seek first the kingdom of God. He said, if we God take care of the little sparrow, the birds, he can take care of us. So he said, he's going to strengthen you financially. It doesn't matter what you're going through. He said, I'm going to strengthen you. I'm going to strengthen you. I'm going to strengthen you physically and financially. God, he know that you need that promotion. God, he know that you need that increase. He said, I'm yes. going to strengthen you. I'm going to strengthen yes. you. Yes. He's God who strengthen you. Amen. Not a man. Amen. He's God. God is going to open the doors of heaven nobody can shut and he's going to open the rivers from the throne of God and nobody can stop the mighty hand of God is coming and speaking Isaiah 55 he said come all ye who are thirsty come to me and buy come to me and come to the water come buy without money come to buy because God he say I will strengthen you he say fear not for I'm your God I will strengthen you are a man he is God does say I'm going to strengthen you Amen. and he said this he said this watch this watch this watch this Isaiah 41 uh, 10 he said I will help you he is God what David knew the heart of God he said where my help is coming from my help is coming from the Lord yeah. he said I will help you so do not put your trust on men do not put your trust in men right, God say I'll help you He's the only helper. He's the only your helper. That's the truth. He said, that's the truth, Pastor Anna said. Mm -hmm. He said, I'll help you. He said, yeah. He said, I'll uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Mm -hmm. What did that mean? He'll, he'll, he'll guard, he'll buckle you up. Amen. He'll make you stand, uphold. That means God is going to up and hold you. Not down. He's going to up and hold you. Mm. He's going to be your backbone. He's going to be mm. your strength. Amen. He's going to feel your power. He's going to feel your anointing. He's going to uphold you. That's a God. That's is your father. Is your father for all your children of God. And we love you to, to, uh, to break bread with you in prayer and to pray for you. No matter what you're going, God yeah. is with you. And we love you. We love, love for everybody. You. Send your prayer request and we pray for you. In the name of Jesus, right now, pray for you. God, touch you, touch you, that mom, touch that daughter, touch your son. Yes. Father, I pray that everybody that is firing in addiction, yes. they got themselves into things that are they're trying to come out of, but it's hard to come out of. Yes. But God, you say, I'm going to help you. Be honest to God and say, oh Lord, I'm trying to get from these shackles of addiction, from this chain of addiction. Oh Lord Jesus, he help me. Help my insecurity. Help, oh God, my anger. Get it out from me, a spirit of anger, spirit of offense, spirit of holiness, and the pride. Get it out of me, God. Help me, oh God, and the Lord will help you. God will strengthen you. God will heal you. God will give you a flesh heart in the name of Jesus Christ, no matter what you're going through. But God knows your heart. God knows what is your battles. I might not know the battles that you're going through, but God, he knows what you're going through. I'm watching right now. God is about to do a miracle in your life. God is about to bring back yes. restoration. What the enemy has stolen in your life is coming back in the name of the Lord Jesus. And that peace God, uh, the enemy has stolen, God is going to bring the peace back. God is going to bring your children back. The children will have the heart of the Father in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
And I'm looking at this one prayer request, and it's so funny that we're talking about this. And this young little child said, please hear everyone's prayer and help each one as you see fit. Thank you for this day and for my friends. Christy. That's a child's prayer. God will answer the, pro the, the prayers of the children. He says, suffer not the children to come on to me. Yes. So we want the prayer requests of your children. That's right. Send them in. Send them in. Send them in. And don't discard your little children because they have a spirit of God. They do. They believe everything. <laughs> That's also right. Yes. Amen. Yes. We love you. Uh, send your prayer request in. You can mail Fire Revival Ministry Prayer Request P.O. Box 193, Mount Juliet, Tennessee, zip code 37121. Or you can email to us, Jesus King of King Ministry. Uh, one. one. It says J K O K Ministries 1 at gmail.com send in your prayer request yes. and god bless you god bless you love you we love you Bye. reaching all 50 states with the gospel of jesus christ for this mission we have some ways that you can get involved for this mission donate travel miles hotel points or on the ground short-term missions trip evangelize on the streets in your community whether it's urban rural or suburban be the hands and feet of jesus these prodigals we are don't wait don't wait open up the heavens pour out your presence